Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm gonna be walking you through how to get these defined, happy, healthy, clumpy clumps that will look nice and thick and juicy. Hopefully make you look like you have more hair than you actually have, because who doesn't want thick hair? And hopefully teach you a trick or two on how to get really, really nice definition while still getting volume on day one hair. Let's do it. <laughs> We are starting off with some musty, dusty, crusty hair. We are jumping in the shower and we're going to use an exfoliating shampoo, okay? This is one from Eva NYC. To be honest, I don't know if they make this anymore, tragically, but my scalp is so itchy, so, okay, I used way too much, like, let's be honest. But uh, <laughs> this is the sea salt scrub. You can find other ones. I'll If I can't find it and they're not selling it anymore, I'm gonna link a different one that's similar. Um, but it's really, really, really great to truly detox your scalp every once in a while. I would say once or twice a month, depending on how many products you use. I think it's a great idea to detox, especially if you're dealing with flaky scalp, dry scalp, buildup, or you're just not, you're noticing that maybe your hair just isn't clumping like it typically does and it's not as bouncy and juicy and shiny. Now, honey, I was not here to play games today. So I used also the Rizos Curls ACV Rinse. It's an apple cider vinegar rinse. It felt like heaven on my hair. I definitely le left my hair feeling squeaky clean. Um, so I did go in with a lot of like moisturizing products afterwards, um, conditioner wise. But if you really need to seriously get rid of that buildup, ACV Rinse, all the way. First, I jumped in with Bumble and Bumble's Bond Building Conditioner. I love this conditioner. I run through it like wildfire. It is freaking fabulous. Um, I always do a teensy, teensy little bit of conditioner on the scalp, but not too much, just because my scalp can get so, so, so dry, um, especially after finishing Accutane. And then predominantly focus that conditioner on the mid hair shaft down. And then we're going to jump in with the plumping hair mask. This is also from Bumble and Bumble. It's their thickening hair mask. Is it going to make your hair 20 times thicker? No. But I do find that it makes my hair look plumper, thicker, okay? By the way, take a shot of water every time I say plump in this video and you will be hydrated, honey, hydrated by the end. Okay, we're going to detangle our hair. I'm using the Tangle Teaser brush. I think this is like their extra big size. We want to be sure that our hair is tangle free before styling. Now styling can begin in the shower and really making sure to get that moisture into your hair at the conditioning stage. So what I'm about to do is squish to condition. Okay. So this is essentially pulsing that conditioner into your hair. Now we're not just going to do the traditional squish squish where you just like scrunch 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 up and down no 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 instead we're going to pulse up pulse 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 <gasps> look at that clumpage unreal you are fresh out the shower the first thing you want to do if your hair is not still soaking wet at this point re-wet we want that hair sopping wet the wetter your hair the more clumpy juicy those waves curls coils are going to be for today we're going to be going for more clumps as opposed to volume i will be showing you some tips and tricks at the end to hopefully achieve both the clump defined look plus the volume because most of us want that. But today we're going for clumps and not as so much of a stringy look. So we're going to be using socking, socking, <laughs> soaking wet hair. So I like to start by parting my hair how I like to part it, which is like right about Right about there. Today I'm gonna be using the Nacho Mother's Curl Chalk Cream. I will say, if you want a nice clumping to your hair, you don't wanna use too much product. Now I am guilty of this. <laughs> I love to use a lot of product. But the more product you use, sometimes your hair can begin to separate, begin to look stringy, it becomes a little bit too oily. Even once it's dry, you feel it. It's a little like, kind of feels like you've got some shea butter on your hair. That often is because you used too much product. I'm gonna be applying this product upside down. So come upside down with me. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we've got our head flipped over. I use like a tablespoon and a half, I'd say. If we were to use a measuring spoon, I'd say roughly about a tablespoon and a half. I do like to mention that you can always add more styling product, right? But you can't really add less. So we're gonna be trying to get this evenly throughout the hair all over. And I'm already, 
<laughs> I'm already like, okay, let's do two tablespoons. <laughs> We're gonna add a little more, just a little more. Just a little. And I'm gonna rake this bad boy through. For my hair type in particular, if I were to just rake this product through my hair, do a little scrunch and then run out the door, it's gonna leave me with very PC hair that's not really like clumped together. Even though I'm scrunching, it's still not clumping. So at this point, now that we've worked our products through, what we're gonna do is re-wet it. I know, I know. Hear me out. It's easy to do this in the shower. I often apply my styling products in the shower, but on camera, obviously I don't do it in the shower because there'd be a terrible echo. But I do recommend applying your stylers in the shower. I think it's very easy if you're using this approach. Okay, so re-wet your hair at this point. We're back. Okay, so to clarify, while I was in the shower, I literally just got my head under the water and wet it. I wasn't like squishing out product or anything of that nature. All the water is simply gonna do is rehydrate that hair, right? Water is hydration. When you're thirsty, dehydrated, water is the answer and it's the same with our hair. So we wanna add that water back in to hydrate it. Um, mess up your makeup. <laughs> Tragic, uh, I worked so hard on it. Okay, it's gonna help to dilute the product a little bit and have it be more evenly dispersed throughout your hair. This is very similar to the bowl method. You're just not using a bowl. <laughs> With the bowl method, in my opinion, is really, really, really great at getting those clumps that you want. As discussed, raking through the hair with your fingers, then just doing a little quick scrunch. That could be leading to stringy curls. There's a couple ways that we can get our hair to clump. Um, out of the shower. So my left side of my hair in particular does not clump very well. It's more wavy than curly. My right side is more curly. We'll never know why. Um, but if you want to take a brush, um, it can be really any brush. You want to add a decent amount of tension, right? We're basically finger coiling, um, but with the brush, you're wrapping it around and pulling with that tension. We're going basically like down and out. I'm going to show you what this does to this hair, if you scrunch her up, ding, 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 it gives you a nice clump. Now, if I were to just take this hair and just kind of like do, 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 it's gonna leave me with more individual pieces. Whereas if you do that brush method and just scrunch on that one piece, it's gonna give you one nice curl. So our head is upside down. We're at the scrunching part, but we're not really scrunching, okay? I wanna recoin this phrase. We're not scrunching, we're pulsing, okay? So instead of, as I showed you earlier in the shower, doing that, no, 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 we are pulse, pulse, you hear that squish? Here we go. Oh yeah, that's the sound you wanna hear. That's how you know when your wave, curl, or coil is properly hydrated. This helps to clump my hair like no other, while the brush method works a little bit better for others, finger coiling. It's all personal preference, and I think it's a lot of trial and error. A lot of you also mentioned that you struggle with getting curl all the way to the root, right? So when you're squishing, pulsing, <laughs> Pulsing, you don't want to just do, do, right? You're missing it to the root. I've done this in the past, right? Look, I'm stopping like right here. So when we go to pulse, we're taking it all the way in, all the way to the root. At this point, we're going to micro plop. I don't know why it's called micro plopping. I just like when you're plopping, basically just plopping for a short period of time. I think TikTok came out with that name. You're either taking an old cotton t-shirt, a microfiber towel, whatever you have around, right? You're gonna lay it like flat on your bed, um, on your table, whatever it is, and you're going to simply plop your hair up in there and tie it up. I am horrible at plopping. <laughs> So I'm holding the back of it because it keeps untangling. But uh, here's a video of showing you how to properly plop so that it can stay on your head. I recommend popping for maybe like five, 10 minutes. One, so that diffusing doesn't take 10 hours. Two, your hair is essentially curl training. It's in its soaking wet stage and it's gonna slowly dry as it's all clumped up together nicely. It's going to enhance and tighten your wave or curl pattern. After plopping for five or 10 minutes, I like to go in with a gel. Now you can do this before plopping or after plopping. I find that if I plop after, excuse me, if I put in gel before plopping, sometimes the gel just like comes off on the towel. So I like to do my gel afterwards. Now you can go in with a mousse, a foam, a gel to seal in your waves or curls um, so that they will last 
for days and days and days and you will have to do this whole process again soon. I find that when I use a gel, I get a more clumpy, be sure to take a shot of water every time I say clumpy in this video. It creates a little bit more of that like, sticky isn't the right word, but more like that seaweedy soft texture where it really allows it to clump up. Um, I love using a mousse as well. I just find that that gives me a little bit more of like a mermaid beachy, um, like messy look. And then a gel gives me a little more definition. So I'm gonna use the Curl Smith. This is their um, fragrance free line. This is the Shine Jelly. I'm gonna use about two, two teaspoons worth. A lot of people like to use the praying hands motion. You can go praying hands or you can do the pulse method. We're coining that, we're coining that. I'm gonna go with the pulse. And be sure to get to your root. You don't wanna use too much at the root. I find that if I put like zero gel at the root, my hair can fall flat because it doesn't have that hold to it where it can like stick up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Something that I also feel like I never talk about is to emulsify that product in your hands, baby. Really work it in. Um, often if you just have like a big glump on your hand and then you just go right in, you're just gonna get it all in one area, right? To ensure that we get it all over evenly, we wanna work it into the hands and then go back to our pulsing method. At this point, I always recommend diffusing. Once again, if you're going for that more clumped, perfect look. When air drying, there's more of a possibility for outside factors to come in. You know, you walk outside, boom, humidity. You go wash your hands, boom, some water. Like. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but diffusing for so many reasons works better if you want to get clumps. I get a little bit more of like a puffy kind of floofy. I like to call it mermaid where it's just kind of like messy, beachy, wind blown, wind blown. Oh my gosh, wind blown. Air drying gives you a windblown look and then diffusing is gonna give you more clumps. So we're gonna diffuse. Today I'm gonna be using the Infinity Pro by Connor. This is a super affordable blow dryer. I will have all the products linked in the description box below. Once again, of course, I personally find when diffusing, the deeper the like bowl shape is, the more clumping that I get. Let's say you're using the Dyson. That one's a little bit more shallow than this one from Conair. That one I get, I wouldn't say stringy by any means, but it's just a little bit less clumping because it's not as deep of a bowl. Look for a deeper bowl if you're looking for more of a clumped effect. When I diffuse, I have an entire video on diffusing, but I like to do something called pixie diffusing. Essentially, you'll have the blow dryer off, you'll put the hair in, then turn it on, wait about 30 seconds to a minute. When you're done, turn it off, take it down. That way we're having minimum fridge and maximum clump. Once again, I have an entire video dedicated to diffusing, so check out that down below if you are interested. Let's go ahead and diffuse and show our results. What did I tell you, babes? What did I tell ya? Um, I am obsessed with the results. We got the clumpy clumps. My hair looks thick. I mean, I don't see any frizz. Do you see any frizz? We're frizz free, full of clumps. The clumpiest of clumps. <laughs> this just in, I don't have the thickest of hair, okay? I really don't. But if you want to create the illusion of thicker hair, I would try following this hair routine. I'm so happy, I feel so pretty, I feel so cute. It's like, honestly, a really good hair day. I can't wait to rock it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. As a reminder for those of you who are new here, I have high porosity, fine hair that is bleached. So it's got a little damage, but I do work hard to keep it happy and healthy and hydrated. So I hope that this was helpful to show you how to get those clumpity clumps. Thank you for watching one of my favorite girls. One of my favorite curly girls just came in to say hello, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out all the products down below. This video is not sponsored. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.